Great ovation for the American. Seeded number one here. And her opponent from Japan in form, 21-year-old Aya Ohori, who's going to try and play party pooper here today and knock out the American and the number one seed. And she's well inside the world's top 20, and she's more than capable of doing that if she's anywhere near her best. So the handshakes, you can see Zhang leads to love, although the last meeting did go to three games. Despite the fact Shang leads the head-to-head -head and she's not lost previously to Ohori. So that there's more potential for improvement from the Japanese girl. There she is. Ranked 16 now. She's been as high as 13. That was last November. And she is the defending champion here. She beat Michelle Lee of Canada to win the title 12 months ago. When you think she won her first title at the age of just 17, that was in Russia. She's won in Thailand as well and China, five titles overall. There's her progress to this semi. And a couple of those matches, as you can see, took just over half an hour. So this will be no stroll in the park, you wouldn't think, for the number one seed. Wen Zhang, who was born in China, moved to Singapore when she was 13, and then on to the States, who she's competed for since 2013. She won her first World Series Tour event at the Indian Open early this year, when she beat the defending champion, Sidhu, in three games. She was inside the top ten as recently as last August. And there you see a couple of her matches en route to here have taken just half an hour as well. So kind of similar, both players' routes to the semi-final. Shanks won 14 tournaments in total, and she won this title in 2014. So we've got two previous winners going head-to-head -head here. She had considerably more experience, six years Ohori's senior. I just have a hunch this might be close. Our officials, Lena Engel from Germany, is your umpire, and the service judge, Lisa Salberg from Sweden. Decent crowd building up inside the Titan gym. Play will go on until an early evening on two courts. So plenty to keep them entertained. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Aya Ohori, Japan. And on my left, Bo Wen Tang, USA. Yeah. Aya, a hurry to serve. Love all. Play. So here we go. A hurry serving. Straight away. That's for the deep serve. <laughs> 
Zhang dismisses it. One love. Well, I think Shane's going to play an aggressive game this afternoon. One. Short all. points. Try and just assert her authority early against the Japanese. See whether experience can triumph over youth here. Well, the first angle was great from Shane. She made the error. Two, one. Just a fraction long. Goes over. I saw in the last singles match, Higher. the men's singles, that you can take them just a, a little Two. while to get used to the drift oh. in the hole here. Didn't miss by much. Well, she set that up with a, a fantastic angle in the middle of that rally. We heard the oohs and ahs from the crowd. Three. And she certainly two, doesn't lack confidence, the 21 year old. Goes over. I wonder whether we might three, see a try of a few short four. serves. Always confident that was drifting wide. Four, three. Made that as well. Obviously, he's going to have the Five, majority of the crowd support three. this afternoon. Just went for too acute an angle. This is a reminder that flag photography is strictly prohibited in the hall. Good that judgment from Jane, because that wasn't that much long, but. Put it enough to leave it, and it was Four. a good decision. Play. <laughs> so it's over. Well, you can count on the fingers of one hand Five. how often she does that in the course of a Six. season. First service error. Well, that was about the, over. the angle that she found. Tried to play a similar shot a few Seven. points ago and didn't make it. That time Five. she did. And Ahori wasn't in control of her reply to it. That is Seven delicate over. to the point of almost being unbelievable.
seven, all. This judgment from Shang. actually had a challenge yet today. We've got our, our Hawkeye people ready, able and willing to check anything that's adjacent to the lines, but so far we've not been asked the question. Nine, seven, Once again, it was the previous shot that set up the easy winner. That's wide. And the Japanese has got a bit of daylight here. Ten, seven. Racket head seven, speed seven, there. Interval. Ripped through the shot, and she's got an 11-7 lead at the interval. Best shot she's played in the match. Can't hit her shuttle any better than that. So just six minutes for those 18 points. Shank needing to find some kind of a response. At the moment, 11, 7. It's going the way of the Japanese. Play. Serving at 11, 7. Things are running your way, they really are running your way. With the help of the net. 12, Another point for the 21 year old. difficult to do anything with that it's kind of a hand of apology but the distance Nine, was 12. far enough that there's no problem with it perfectly legitimate tactic go at the body from that kind of range from any range really <laughs> she's shown a over. really impressive subtlety of touch Ahori it's beyond her years, 13, really. Nine. And she's doing enough to keep her nose ahead in this opening game. Well, subtlety plus power is a pretty lethal combination. She's shown us the full repertoire. Fourteen, nine. 
this afternoon. Made it. Over. Just for a moment, looked like it was drifting wide and then landed just inside the line. She needed that badly. 14. She's been on the back foot pretty much since the start. And again. And maybe the comeback's on here for the number one seed. Pushing the number one seed around there. No respecter of Hiya. reputation. Stay on the court. 15. It's all that Jean could do to 11. stay in the point for as long as she did. In the end, the inevitable error. Hasn't made many herself. Well, that might just give Shang a little bit of heart. She needed something well, to get her going. 15. Herself rather hopelessly out of position there, Ohori. All the American had to do was just 13, loft it into the empty 15. court. So starting to close down this lead. And that's why it was again. Zhang threatens to get either level or you know, put pressure on the younger player. Ahori comes up with something like that. Any 16, number of winners she's hit 14. already. Doesn't have the monopoly on a subtlety of touch. 15, 16. Well worth another look. Could just flick the top of the net, but it won't bother her. Back within a point again. <laughs> and that's the first challenge, and that looked tight. Might just be wide. But the first time this afternoon we've I gone to Hawkeye. And it's a big out. point as well, obviously. Difference between 17, 15 and 16 all. Instinct was it was just wide of the sideline. But certainly worth a challenge. Get two each game. 
So at this stage, and with the score as it is, let's have a look. Yeah. Well, I can hear what the crowd think. The American is back within a point again. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Fifteen. Sixteen. Play. Service judge, David Crutton, USA. Accompanied by the team of Lion Judges. Well, it's ironic, really, she's missed that, because she created a couple of absolutely delicious angles in that rally. Chan, to her credit, stayed in the point, got her awards in the end. All. We just went for too much on that. So all square now. It's opening game. <laughs> well, she just pulled her completely. You see she was on her heels. A hurry, thinking that the lift was coming, and it was a one to describe a disguised drop shot. See, she was halfway back to the back line, just couldn't 17, get forward again in time to clear 16, the net. 17. What? Zhang with the nose in front, pretty much the first time in the game. That's gone wide, and still this opening game is right in the balance. 17, all. Close over. Well, not a good time for a service error. Higher. 17. Bit of adrenaline, maybe. Either way, Shang has a narrow advantage now. But not for long. shot series of drives and blocks and then 19 perfectly executed 18. drop shot to win the point and an absolutely key part of the game two points away now a hurry Hit the tape, came back on her side. 19, all. It's long. And the American has a game point. Certainly a chance, big chance. Can she take advantage? Not lie down. 
nerveless points at game point down. We heard the oohs and ahs from the crowd there. A brilliant drop shot from a who in the middle of that rally, which Zag somehow got back. Oh. But had to give best in the end. Got to win by two clear points, of course. 20 or play. That's an error. Scowl on the face of Naomi Jang because now it's Ahuri who has game point. 21, 20. Well, a hugely entertaining first game, and the number one seed potentially here is in trouble. Uh -huh. 22, 22 points to 20. And the 21 year old draws first blood in this semi final. A hugely entertaining first game as well. Both players. When you get two players both playing well at the same time, that's what provides real entertainment and drama. And we had everything. And he took 21 minutes. It wasn't as if it were. Long rally after long rally. But some play to admire from both. And Zhang has to find something now to counteract the young Japanese in this second game. mentioned that Ahuri is the defending champion here. So she clearly enjoys the arena. Shang won this event okay, four years ago. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Second game, love all, play. So a hurry to serve. Struck overhead from the back of the court from Shane. One all. Don't think we're going to necessarily see a, a changing tactics from her. Wasn't that she played badly in the first game at all? It's just that Ahuri was inspired at times. That was a fairly Let's easy kill, back. though. Lift that barely cleared the service line. One. Well, good anticipation again from a hurry. Serves over. Two. Oh. She's a wonderful player to watch. Those subtle drop shots. She moves. So gracefully round the court, deceptively quick. And she's clearly got Shang rattled at the moment. There's more unforced errors than you would expect from the world number 12. Three. We said that who is only racked four places below her, so it shouldn't really be a surprise that it's close. Three. 
all. Oh, that is absolutely pinpoint accuracy. Ramrod straight Four. down the sideline. Three. Nothing Jan could do. Good leave. Very good judgment. She can believe she Five. played that shot. So completely out of character with the match so far. Title to the odd loose one. Pod. And she's straight back in the groove. Over. Six. Four. Sorry. Okay. We just saw a, a flash from one of the spectators, okay. camera or a phone. Play. Once again, textbook execution on that drop shot. Seven. Shan's going to have nightmares four. about that shot this evening if she loses this match. There's a lovely hairpin from Zhang in the middle of that rally. It just gave her the edge thereafter. And she was never going to miss that final opportunity. Well, I guess the law of averages said she had to miss one eventually. Six, Played that shot seven. so well. But Chang is still well in touch here. Just looks completely Eight. in control of a game. Six. And she has from the start. No fear of playing the number one seed, despite the fact that she's never beaten her. Well, she's got a great chance here. Game up at 8-6 up. Right on the line, or at least that was the line judge's initial decision. Zhang's gonna challenge it. Challenge. Bai Wen Tang. Once again. In. I think this is fairly close, but look like it did at least flick the line. Let's see what Hawkeye's got to say about it. Crowd, of course, get to see on the big screen. Yeah, caught a big piece of it. Nine six is correct score. Play. <laughs> a 
Well, a little bit of good fortune there. Zhang with the net cord. Absolutely nothing that Uhuri could do about that. On court. Seven, nine. Maybe that was a, a tad over ambitious. Eight, nine. Hard to really criticise though when it's worked so well for her so far. Runs over. Big point, I think, for Ahuri here. If she could get a Ten, an eleven-eight lead at the eight. interval. He would be more than satisfied with that. And that's exactly the way of it. She had Chang going one way and the other, right across the net there. And she's right in the ascendancy here. A game up, an 11-8 ahead. Number one seed will really have to dig deep now if she wants to get back into this. Just had her going from one side of the net to the other. In the end, the pressure told. Third one, 20 seconds. Third one, 20 seconds. Yes, over there. Okay. Beat uh, Michelle Lee of Canada last year to win the title. A hurry. And you know when you have a player who's just 21, he's got five titles to her name. That. I have to call the referee. There's one guy who's using flash photography, so we have to call him. Okay. But nerves won't be a problem. The umpire just saying to Jane, we know there's someone. Taking a few pictures with a flash. Wait. Oh, yeah. Wait. She's extremely off-putting to Who's the players. Who is saying the spectators have to have the um, focus light all the time on? It's over there all the time. Where? Which one? I, I don't... There's one over there. I'm going to tell you this one. Watch out for it, please. So I think... 11... The official is just going to try and... Isolate that Play. individual if they keep doing it. Serving at 11-8. Hurry. Well, it was a late decision to play that from Zhang. She was going to leave it. Last minute realising that. It's going to drop in. And all she succeeded in Twelve. doing is Eight. effectively giving the Japanese the simplest of kills. Bonus point, really. Every point she wins trains a little bit more confidence 13, from Pei Wen eight. Chang. Really had to do much to win both those points since the interval. A hurry. That's good though. Slightly louder volume when Ten. Chang wins a point. Obviously, majority of the crowd rooting for the American. Thirteen.
Well, great defence by Ohuri. And in the end, the error comes from Zhang. And she is in serious trouble here. 14. 10. Just can't seem to stem the tide of points to her opponent, who is playing some terrific badminton, to be fair. It's not that Zhang's playing that badly. Lands it again. Body language from Zhang is cross between frustration, 15. irritability. Ten. So watch her here. She must have said, there's nothing I can do at the moment. Six points away from a win. Service over. Well, she'll take it. She'll take a point any way she can get it, 15. net cord or not. Just had yeah. to stop the rot. Well, it's, it's almost like she was toying with the number one seed in that point. Just irresistible again from Ahori. 16, 11. Who just seems inexorably to be on her way into the final here. But many a slip. That'll help Zhang's cause. Not just to win a point, but to win it with a winner like that. Well, they just haven't been enough from her point of view. Or can she get back into this? Crowd trying to help her. Play. Well, that was a really big chance for Ahuri. And she put it wide of the sideline. Now, is that going to be potentially 14, a pivotal moment here? 16. Play. Aya, ready to play. That shot has done so much damage in this match. 17. Really has. 14. Well, best point of the match, and once again, Zhang about to leave that, late change of heart, and in that situation, just never works. So watch her here, she at one stage convinced this was going long, and then right at the last minute, just knocked it up over the net, easy kill. Second time that's happened, Ahuri just three points away. But a fabulous rally that preceded that. On 
court. Eighteen, fourteen. Feel that Shang's got to win this point. 19-14, hard to see a way back. And she hasn't pushed it wide by a distance. And a hurry. So close now she can taste this potential victory. 19, Couple of points 14. to put out the number one seed. Six game points for the Japanese. 20, match point, 14. <laughs> <Game's> over. <laughs> well, that was a, an open invitation that Zhang was never going to turn 15. down. Although, is it just 20. a stay of execution? <laughs> it's wide. So that's a couple saved. 16, 20. going to be challenged Seven. immediate challenge Are you a hurry? and why wouldn't she at this stage Seven. of the match Seven. I'm not sure she genuinely thinks this is out but why not try why not see well, of course if it is out well, that's the end of it but it's not so Three game points saved, three more to go. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 17, 20. Are the nerves getting to a hurry here? Sometimes the final hurdle is the hardest one to clear. Certainly not out a hurry, but she's got something to think about. 2014 she led, and now, having seen Zhang save four game points, the pressure is really on. Really gives Zhang a huge amount of credit. It's a never say die attitude. I'm sure a hurry's okay. The crowd are re-energized by this. Late comeback from the American. Aya. 18, 20. Got it. Five 
game point save. And it's not as if she's playing safety first badminton. Last game point for a hurry. 19, 20. Is back on terms at 20 points all. Ahu well, is on her knees again. Literally rather than figuratively. But you've got to think the momentum here is all with the American. Thank you. Six opportunities for Ahuri to win the match. 20. And now she oh. finds herself fighting to stay in this second game potentially the side are looming 20 all it's in she completely committed herself a hurry incredible how the balance of power can shift in such a short time a hurry was cruising 21. five minutes ago 20. and it looks now like she's about to go level after this comeback from Zhang. Finally, she wins a point. 21. All. Delicate. Great hands. Perfect angle. Game point number two for Zhang. 22, 21. And well, that's exactly what the crowd wanted to see. We are going to get a decider here. 23 points to 21. In Zhang's favour, that only tells half the story. 2014, she trailed. And she found the mental reserves from somewhere. To get back on terms and eventually win the game. And all of a sudden, Mahuri has started to make errors. And psychologically, you, you think it's going to take a, a massive effort from her to win this third game. 48 minutes we've been playing, and we're no nearer to knowing who is going to be in tomorrow's final. But she really looked down and out at one stage. The fact that she's out on court already, I think, tells you a lot. She's itching to get on with this. Always oh, something was going to have to give. Number one seed against the defending champion here. Cut one, 20 seconds. Cut one, 20 seconds. game level play so who's got more in reserve oh. 
Well, it's a good start from Ahuri. You'll probably be thinking, why couldn't I have found one of those, one of those points towards the end of the last game? One love. Play. Aya. Aya. No more delaying. You have to be ready. Miss Q from Shang. Nowhere near the middle of the racket, that one. Two. Love. That's three unforced errors. Three. Start of One. this deciding game. Just when you thought all the momentum would be with the American, maybe not the case. That's a little wasteful, to say the least. Goes over. From a hurry. Well, I could see what she was trying. It was, a, it was the right choice of shot. Bye Just way. got it wrong. Three. All. Absolutely nailed. Four, three. So well, it's over. worth a try. Just try to take the pace off it and find a really acute angle, Four. but too much. Terrific shot. Time's over. Now the psychological boost Five. it must have given her to come Four. from so far behind in that last game. I just think that has to have an impact at some point. A very good reply, though, Seven's from Ahuri. Five. Like all four. the sports psychologists would say, in Ahuri's position, just can't afford to, even at the back of your mind, dwell on what has happened. Just have to concentrate full on on this game. Start thinking about what might have been. And we'll be in trouble. That's a super shot again. Maybe Six. she has got it out of her system. Five. Now 
it's Zhang making the unforced errors. Seven, five. Just missed it. Not by much. Looks like we're going to be in Six, for a, a nip and tuck seven. final game here. to keep the match moving. Wanted to go Play. for a drink and a towel down there, Ahuri. Umpire having none of it. Well, it was a fabulous angle she found, and it set up a relatively straightforward overhead to win the point. Stage, you take points any way you can get them. Eight. I'm going to feel a little bit for a hurry there. Massive net cord in Zhang's favour. This seems impossible to predict how this Nine. deciding game Eight. is going to go. Good thing she she was paying attention because a hurry did brilliantly to get that back over the net, albeit she was never in a position to do anything about it when it came back from Zhang. Almost spent as much time flat out on the court, a hurry, than she has upright. On court. It's a really brave effort just to get it back. So she'll have a three-point advantage, Chang, as they go to the chair for the interval. Of course, they'll change ends as well, momentarily. can hear is because MC was uh, throwing some t-shirts into the crowd which is just about at capacity here not too many spare seats at all Quad one, 20 seconds Quad so you one, can see. 20 seconds Thank you. nothing like a free gift to get a crowd going so we've reached the uh, denouement in 11. this semi-final that looked all over 
when Ahuri led 2014 in the second game, having won the first. But a fabulous Hello. comeback from Bei Wen Cheng. And she now has the advantage. We need a physio, she's bleeding. In this final game, but we're going to have a delay here uh, because the physio has been called for. There's some blood, I think, on the knee of Ahori. I don't think it's serious, but obviously we'll need to get some kind of a plaster or a bandage on it. Or is it that? No, maybe it's the hand. I thought it was the knee because she spent so much time on on the ground in this match. So Plaster applied, yes, and we're ready to carry on 11, to the bitter play. end here in this semi-final. Play. Yeah, has she got the bit between her teeth here, Shank? Good judgment from Ahuri, but Zhang will be furious about that. Looked like she had Ahuri Nine. exactly where she wanted her, and then 12. makes the service error. But still with a three-point lead. That's a quality point from Zhang. That's over. That really was experience triumphing youth. 13, 10. Pushed her back. Play. Easy kill. That's a very good leave. It was a late decision, but you can see that was just drifting wide, and all of a sudden, 14, there's a little bit of daylight on the 10. scoreboard now. And just made that as well. Well, that's a good response that's from Ohuri. Wonder whether she can find the kind of resolve that Zhang showed in the second game. 15. Come from behind. Not critical yet at 11:15, but alarm bell should be ringing. Well, brave effort, but in the end, the pressure told. 16, 11. Aya? Oh. 
shifting of the sands at the moment. And you have to wonder what, if she does lose this match, as looks likely now, who is going to think back and consider what might have been, what should have 17, been really, the 11. lead that she had. And now she's four points away from defeat. She's not going to go down without a fight, That's that over. much is obvious. 12, 17. And getting closer and closer to the winning 18, line. 12. Now has an air of genuine inevitability 19, about it. Should never say that really after 12. what happened in game two, but. Shang is in complete control. It's wide. It over. And here are eight match points for the American. 20 match point. They just delay the inevitable. 13, 20. Well, talk about somehow summoning victory from the jaws of defeat. Six match points down in game two. The number one seed, Baywen Zheng, came back and then came through against Aya Ahuri in a classic women's semi-final. Ahuri will think what might have been. Then, run by, by 20, 20, 22, 23, 21, 21, 13. Great entertainment, and Zhang comes through. 20-22, 23-21, 21-13. The that match way. that lasted you follow me? more than an hour. <laughs> 